Hey, welcome everybody. I'm that Jack guy. So, okay, I gotta ask you a question. Are those catapults over there? <laughs> oh, well, I want to hang out with you guys. Well, I have to tell you that I, you know, get to work all over the country and I get to travel all over the world, but I actually live right here. And when I found out hundreds of Boy Scouts are going to be right here in my backyard, I had to come out and say hi. I mean, I, I got to come here a little bit early and see all the stuff you do. I mean, you got, you're shooting black powder rifles, you're doing archery, gold mining, Dutch oven cooking, all kinds of stuff. I mean, really, is there anything more fun than being a scout? No, there's not. So way back when in the 80s, I graduated from Willamette High School. And before I graduated, they put me in contact with like a guidance counselor, right, before you graduate. And the guidance counselor looked at me, looked down at my grades, looked back at me and said, have you ever considered a career in small engine repair? And you know, it wasn't that I didn't like school, I liked school, but at the time I wasn't mature enough to understand what I was learning now and how that could be relevant to what I'm gonna do in the future. Well, fast forward about 30 years into the future, now I get to write books, and I get to be a guy on TV, and I'm also lucky enough to get out and speak to audiences like you, and I'm also an explosives guy. So the point is, you don't know what's gonna happen in life, and you certainly don't always know where life is gonna take you, but I will tell you this, right now, our country needs scouting more than ever, more than ever. Your leadership, your dedication, and your commitment to service is going to help this country more than anything. And I've also been around long enough to see success, and I've also seen a lot of failure. And I'm also here to tell you it's a lot more fun to be successful. And I want you all to be successful and have a rich life. And I don't mean rich like money rich necessarily, but what I mean successful and rich means you get to do what you want to do and you get to work hard and you get to have fun. To me, that's successful. And then that gives you the opportunity to help someone else up because really service to others is what it's all about, right? I mean, that's essentially the scout's way, right? Service to others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share seven things with you tonight that honestly I wish when I was your age someone would have told me because I think it would have helped my life along a little easier. So this whole idea about, you know, the goldfish that bark, the, the, the idea of this thing is that, you know, years ago I was out in the desert camping with my buddies and hanging out with the guys, had a great camping trip out like by Bend, Oregon, and we're all chatting around the campfire like guys do. And my friend says, he's actually, his name is Lloyd, he's actually a real estate guy here locally in town. And he says, yeah, you know, I bought this shopping mall. And we all just kind of stopped and looked at each other and said, you bought a shopping mall? How does one just buy a shopping mall? He says, well, I kind of started with nothing. And I got a rental property. And I fixed it up and I rented it out. And then I got another rental property. And I fixed it up and rented it out and bought a few more and sold some and bought some. And fixed some more up and made some more money and kind of did some trading around. And before I knew it, I was able to trade a bunch of property and bought a shopping mall. I said, that's amazing. He says, yeah, I was like the goldfish that barked. And, you know, I like that idea where you kind of start with nothing, but you spend your life working hard to develop something, to make something of your life. It's, it's like your legacy, right? It's like, what are you going to do with your life and what are you going to pass on when you have kids someday. And so I like that whole concept of how do you work hard in life to distinguish yourself. And so I'm gonna share seven ideas. And number seven is be ready for success. And at your age, that means doing exactly what you're doing right here is learning things. You know, when I was young too, I learned a lot about door skills like how to fish and how to hunt and gold mine. I still gold mine, I love it and all of these type of skills. I also did martial arts when I was in high school. 
And you'll find that all those types of skills will serve you well your whole life. So really at this point is just kind of keep doing well in school and, and keep learning things because the skills you're learning right now at this camp will serve you well your whole life. Number six is don't fall into traps. In life, there's so many snags that we can get caught in. And the tragic thing is doing something dumb just for a couple moments when you're young can come back and haunt you your whole life. And, you know, there's lots of examples. You know, and, you know, there's a lot of things that, that can trip us up and keep us from reaching our full potential. If you're one of these guys or gals that can't eat a few potato chips out of the bag without eating the whole bag, you might have an addictive personality, right? And if you do, you got to be extra careful not to become addicted to anything bad. Be careful that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right. Number five is learn to communicate. You will find, hi, you will find that in life, no matter what you do in, in school and in business and and someday when you get married, have relationship, kids, whatever it is, you've got to learn to communicate. And the better at communication you are, the easier life is going to be. But it can be tricky because you're working with people now from all over the world. We now have a, a global work community where people speak different languages and they come from different you know, places around the world. And so you've got to figure out, when the, you know, the secret that I've learned is that if you can figure out what you have in common with somebody, that's going to help you communicate with them. So the point is, by being able to communicate, you can take advantage of opportunities that maybe you wouldn't if you're bashful, right? Or you don't say anything, or you can't convey what you want in life. Learn to communicate. Number four, educate yourself. Now, you're old in school now, but, and you know, my daughter's here actually, so I'm going to embarrass her. She's like, she doesn't like doing homework. Anyone like, not always like to do your homework? I didn't, but when you're an adult, you still have homework. You, you can't stop learning. You always got to learn things. You've got to learn. I mean, the most successful people learn to become an expert, to be an expert in things, right? You've got to be able to learn things quickly. And there's a lot, luckily there's a lot of ways to do that. I mean, yeah, you can go to college for, you know, four years or six years and get your different degrees and stuff. That's great. And that actually just kind of gives you the basics in a lot of ways. You still have to learn the technical details. And it's surprisingly the things you learn now, how you'll use them your whole life as you get older. Now, number three, I like this is one of my favorites. Find your superpower. Now, everybody's good at something. And, you know, what you got to do is figure out what you're good at and then kind of develop that so you can become even better at it. You know what I mean? So, like, who out there has got a superpower? So you're all good at something, right? And you've spent this weekend working on things you're good at. I mean, you're doing archery, and you're doing all kinds of things here at camp. Find out what you're good at. And if you don't know, that gives you something to do, right? You've got to figure out what are you good at and then learn to become even better at it. Does that make sense? And it's fun because I promise you, everybody's got some kind of superpower. You just got to find it and develop it. Number two is give thanks. And this picture here is from my home church, which is uh, Thurston Christian Church, which is really only about two miles that way out in Thurston. And when I say give thanks, I mean, yeah, give thanks to the Almighty. But you can also probably have a lot of other people in your life you can give thanks to too. Like maybe your parents and your scout masters and your teachers and a lot of other people that have helped you along in life. And the unique thing with giving thanks is, and the reason why you want to do it, is because the more you are thankful for, the more things you have to give thanks about. Pretty neat. Here's another thing along those lines, why I've got you in church here just for a moment. Faith and fear are diametrically opposed, meaning they're, they're polar opposites. You can't have fear and you can't have faith at the same time. In life, you kind of get one or the other. And I've been afraid in life, and I've also have great faith in life. And I'm here to tell you that it's better to go through life with faith than just being afraid of everything. Now, down here below, there's a picture of five stones, and that's from the story of David, David and Goliath. So 
It wasn't that David was a bad shot and needed five rocks. It's because Goliath had four other brothers, right? So he brought five rocks. That's faith. If you can live through life like that, you don't have to fear anything. So the final thing is, is to find your mission. And even though, you know, a lot of you guys are saying, eh, I'm still pretty young, you are young. But you're never too young to think about what do you want to do in life? You know, it's like you kind of put all these things together. Kind of, what's your superpower? What are you good at? What do you like to do? You know, what can you see doing, you know, for the rest of your life? Because, you know, you got to work a long time. I mean, most of us have to work, you know, 30 years, 40, 50 years in life. You might as well pick something you like, right? And, you know, if you're working, you just don't want a, a job that you're going to complain about or have to watch the clock. You want to have a job that you enjoy so much that you don't care whether it's Monday or Friday. You just want to be, you know, happy doing what you want to do. So if, and how do you figure that out? Well, three things to think about. What are you good at? What are you passionate about? And what can you make money at? You know, three important things. What are you good at? What wakes you up in the morning and gets you excited about, you know, being alive? But what pays the bills? But I, let me kind of show you, too, before I leave. Look at this. This is the blaster box from the show. Now, this was found in the mountains of Bolivia, and the guys on the show gave it to me. And it's really cool because it's about 100 years old. But it still works. Right there, it still works. Pretty neat. I got it back to Oregon. <laughs> I want to leave you with three important ideas before I go. One is, in life, you get what you focus on. And this is really important because a lot of people just kind of focus on problems. If you focus on problems and why you can't do something, you get more problems and more reasons why you can't do something. But if you focus on excellence and achievement, you get more of that too. And the second thing is, don't let anyone define you. It doesn't matter where you start in life, what type of family you have, where you grew up, it doesn't matter. No matter where you started in life, you can always work hard and improve your situation. I promise you, you can. It may take a long time, it may take a lot of hard work, and it will, but you can improve your situation. If I let someone define me, I would be fixing lawnmowers instead of doing what I'm doing now. The third thing is, and this is really important for you guys, is be legendary. This country needs the scouts more now than ever. Absolutely now than, than any other time. They need you. And you might be thinking, look, we're just kids. You're more than just kids. You are the future. Use the skills you're learning now to be leaders to be leaders of leaders. Do something legendary. And then help others up along the way. But don't stop there. Then do something even more amazing, right? Look at all of you. Hundreds of scouts in front of me. I can't wait to see what you're all going to do. I'm proud of you already. Will you all make the world a better place? I can't wait to see what you're all going to do. I am so honored to be here. Thank you so much, everyone, for having me come out. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks, everyone. Jeff.